morning everybody welcome back we are on day 29 of the 100 day project and uh, today's project was completely inspired by in Amity Bloom's latest uh, journals if you guys follow her you know um, she does some amazing work and her last batch of journals I spotted this pocket idea in there and so <clears throat> last night I played around to f try to figure out how to create it, and this is what I've come up with. And it it's an accordion <clears throat> pocket page. So this is going to go in the center of your signature, um, obviously, because you're going to need to stitch that in. Um, so I'm just going to show you guys how to create this. Um, I know there's a couple of ways you can do it. This is my version of it, and uh, for me, I think it's the best way to do it. Um, so I've got the things already kind of prepped ahead of time. Um, I'll sit this over here so you can have that to see, because you've got four places to put a pocket then, and then it just flattens down when you close the book. Um, so what I did, I took some... Um, we all have mishaps when we print out, so I took some of the papers that had, you know, not printed out properly, and this is um, one of them that's going to be, um, I backed it with the lined paper, so that's going to be where I'm going to attach this section. So just measure out your journal page as normal. Um, now this I've backed with just regular white paper for the purposes of this tutorial. Obviously you would probably want to use your tea dyed or coffee dyed paper because it will show when it's open slightly. So, um, so anyways, you've established what your journal page is. You're going to want to cut another sheet, and I always take about an eighth of an inch off. It can go. It can be the same size, absolutely. But for me, when I sew, I like to have just a little bit of the underlying paper to see because I'm not that experienced on the machine yet. So then you're going to take this paper, fold it in half, take this side, fold it up, turn it over, and fold it again. And then that way, when we stitch this, it's going to form the mountain in the middle. Okay, so what I did, I went, went ahead and ran the machine. Now if you back, and I would recommend backing this paper that's going to create the pockets, because I've tried it two ways. I tried it on a single sheet last night and it's, a, it's too flimsy. I tried it on cardstock and cardstock adds too much bulk because you've, you're still going to have this layer of your pockets going on. I didn't like either. So I've opted to use two sheets of copy paper, and it doesn't matter what weight copy paper, guys. I print on 100 GSM, but this isn't. This top one is the 100 GSM, but the bottom one is just regular lightweight, you know, just whatever you get from Walmart or uh, Sainsbury's. It doesn't matter. Um, so that's, I think, the best way to do this because it gives it just enough um, structure that it's, it's, it's going to do what it's supposed to do. So, having said that, you've, cut, you've folded it, you've either glued it or gone down and sewed it, and I recommend stitching it because the glue... Uh, Unless you've, you know, adhered it really well with the glue, you're going to end up with some buckles, and I just don't like the look at all. So then stitch all the way around the exterior, and then I also recommend each individual pocket I've stitched again. And the reason I say that is because it's going to hold that paper in place so you don't have any buckling or... Um, any kind of line showing through. It's just another little step that I personally like to do. So, so once you've stitched each of these rectangles around the edge, then you're going to create 
a pocket that you can stitch in. Now this one, um, I've come in probably not quite a quarter of an inch. But you, as I said, you can go all the way to the edge if, if you prefer to do so because what I've done is going to mean that by the time I've stitched that on, the pocket's going to be a little bit smaller. But that's fine by me. This is just another element to the journal, so I'm not bothered about little things like that. Um, but there again, I totally recommend stitching all three sides. And don't, you know, don't go crazy because sometimes when we're sewing, we can forget and think, oh, I'm just going to do the whole thing. Don't sew your pocket closed. But um, let me run to the machine. I'm going to do all the stitching, and I'm going to attach this in one go. And then I'll come back and walk you through the next step. Okay, guys, I thought I better come back and just try to show you. I don't know how well this is going to come up, but I thought I would stop before I add the little pocket at the bottom. This is where we are. As you can see, I've run a stitch down just to try to um, distinguish each, um, uh, you know, section. And it does help. with it folding better if you do that as well. But I just prefer that to glue. I think it's it just gives a nicer finish, okay? So now I'm going to take this <coughs> and I recommend going ahead and folding this prior to and you're just folding it the same way. So you've got your long piece of paper fold it in half, then bring the end up to the center and the same on that side. It just is going to reinforce, you know, what this piece is supposed to do. Um, so now I'm going to go to the machine, stitch this in, and I'll be back and we'll do the, the last final part to the project. Okay guys, I'm back and <clears throat> I've attached the pocket part. So now you can see, let me grab a little, to see if I've got some small enough tags to show you what you've created. That one is looking a little tight. I knew it would be on those exterior ones, but um, that's where we're at so far. Okay, so maybe, maybe I'll, I'll just recap because I don't know. I feel like I've kind of maybe not explained everything well enough. So you've got your back piece, which is this one, and forgetting about the stitching, you know, that's not necessary. I just wanted to do it. You've got your back piece that's folded. This is what's going to be sewn into the signature. Then we've taken another sheet and we folded it this way. We folded it up this way, turned it over, folded it again, and that's formed the mountain, which is this part, so that when we open up the page, you're going to have this pocket, well, four pockets, <laughs> and this will have to go in the center signature, as I said. Um, okay, so we've done that. We did the same thing for the piece, the strip of paper, and you can use cardstock if, you, if I mean not cardstock, scrapbooking paper if you want. But as I said, if it's very thick, I don't think you're going to like the added bulk to your journal. But that's purely personal. If you want to do that, absolutely do it. Um, this is just for me. I found doubling up the regular copy paper works best. So now we're at this point. <coughs> I'm going to sew this again, but you've got to make sure that you're only now going to be sewing this exterior panels because this you want to keep free so that it's moving. So you're going to stitch it, try to make sure you guys can see it, line it up, and if you want, just to make sure, I would even maybe in the center put a little dab of glue so that you're sure it doesn't shift between your workstation and your sewing station and I, I probably better do that because that happens to me all the time 
and then you're going to just be set. Let's just do it because I, I feel like you can't really see what I'm doing. So let me just put a little strip along here to hold these down and then hopefully I can give you a better angle. It's such a simple um, addition, but when I saw it in Amity's, um, Nazzy's journal last night, well, I think it was yesterday, maybe the day before, I can't remember, but it, I thought, oh man, that looks, it just is cool. Um, I think for me, I'm starting to find that maybe I'm, I want more of these kinds of things in my journals than, than the pockets, per se. I think I like the stuff that's a bit more interactive. All right, so what I've done, the first panel, and, you know, on the exterior, I've just put a little bit of glue there, so now you can hopefully see what you're trying to achieve there. And this is where, when you go to the machine, you're going to start stitching from this corner up, along here but you stop here and if you make sure you don't go over that crease it'd be better for you to stop shy you know shy of it than to go over because that it won't open properly and then on this side same thing stitch it from here all the way up and across and stopping before so so that you're sure that's absolutely going to move and then once that's done, you know, we've got our little pockets. So I will be back and show you the, the last bit. Okay, guys, I have been over to the machine. And I should have explained, too. This is another thing that I realized. I've, stone, I've sewn this side. <clears throat> We're not going to sew this one. What we're going to do is clip that up here. And the reason being, it occurred to me that when you go to sew that in, that's going to be very tricky now that that's all been attached. So just pin that over, get your signature ready, sew it in, and then after you've got it all, your signature's all done, then just come over and add some glue to this side because you've already got all of your stitching anyways so it's not going to look you know different to that one because you've already got your stitching so I should have said that at the beginning but anyways that's how you're going to want to do that just pin that over while you're sewing that in then you're done and you can just adhere that with some Fabri-Tac that, that panel and then you've got that because you'll see all your your signature down in there. And I love that. I love, love, love it. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Nazzy, for that. Um, I don't know if she's going to be doing a tutorial. She doesn't seem to be doing many tutorials um, lately. But if she does, obviously, you know, her technique may be different to mine. I know that I've seen a couple of ways where you can just slit a sheet of paper down this section. But that didn't really work for what I wanted to do because I need a you'd have to have um, you know a much bigger sheet of paper for that to work so this is what I've come up with guys I hope you like it and I hope everybody's having a great day and uh, I hope I can think of a project for tomorrow <laughs> thanks for joining me if you got any questions I'll get back to you as quick as I can as I said I'm kind of overwhelmed at the moment because there's been so much response which is awesome um, and I appreciate it but it's not easy for me to get back to everybody's comments, but I will certainly try to. Um, I hope that it's um, been a very um, easy tutorial to follow. Maybe maybe choosing the darker colors has made it a little bit trickier. I'm not too sure, but I hope it's. Um, I've, I've explained it well enough that you guys can do it. But anyways, take care, guys, and I'll see you tomorrow.